former Blade scriptwriter denies his script was a narrative led by women. Former Blade scriptwriter Michael Starbury denied that his version and previous versions of the scripts that he saw featured a narrative led by women. That narrative led by women was reportedly in the scripts, uh, according to uh, Variety's Tantiana Siegel. She said one person familiar with the script permutation says the story at one point morphed into a narrative led by women and filled with life lessons. She had a blade was relegated to the fourth lead, a bizarre idea considering that the studio had two-time Oscar winner Mahershala Ali on board. Later in reports, Siegel detailed that Ali was ready to exit over script issues. Uh, so Starbury reacted to Siegel's claims on X, where he wrote, I worked on a draft of this before the strike, never saw a version where Blade was fourth lead or it was a narrative led by women and filled with life lessons, but I suppose a lot could have happened since I had uh, anything to do with it. He was in 99% of the scripts I was a part of. So uh, he is denying uh, what he saw from the Blade scripts, but obviously he's not saying that it's not true because he departed the, the project. So he didn't see uh, the new Blade scripts. However, he says, whatever is going on with Blade, I'm hoping for the best. Some good folks are involved in that joint. He was then asked if Blade isn't about Blade, then why would we watch it? He said, he was in almost every scene when I was involved. I don't know what happened, but I'll just say I seriously doubt he was ever the fourth lead in any draft. So he's saying even after, he's saying he doesn't know what happened afterwards, but even if it did happen afterwards, he doubt that is actually what happened. However, the Blade movie has gone through quite a bit of turbulence since it was announced at San Diego Comic-Con back in 2019. In February 2021, it was revealed that Watchmen scribe Stacey Osai Kufour was writing the script. In September 2022, scooper Jeff Snyder said this. He said, I'm told that the current Blade script is roughly 90 pages and features exactly two lackluster action sequences. Mahershala is said to be very frustrated with the process. Feige said to be spread too thin. But hey, that's just what sources are telling me. Don't shoot the messenger. That same day that Snyder made his claim, a Marvel spokesman informed The Hollywood Reporter that director Bassam Tariq was departing from the film. The, the spokesman said, due to continued shifts in our production schedule, Bassam is no longer moving forward as director of Blade, but will remain an executive producer on the film. We appreciate Bassam's talent and all the work he's done getting Blade to where it is. And then Tariq shared his own statement saying, it's been an honor working with the wonderful folks at Marvel. We were able to put together a killer cast and crew eager to see where the next director takes the film. Shortly after the announcement, there was a report from the Direct that claimed that Moon Knight and The Witcher Nightmare of the Wolf writer Bo DeMaio had been tapped to work on the script. In April of this year, it was revealed that Nick Pizzolatto had been tapped to work on the Blade script. Siegel claims in her most recent report that Michael Green is now working on the script. So they've had over five, uh, at least five script writers. We have um, Stacy, we have Starbury, we've got uh, Bo DeMaio, we've got Nick Pizzolatto, and then now Michael Green working on the script. That's at least five. So uh, this movie is definitely <laughs> in production hell right now, and it doesn't look like anything uh, good is coming from it. Uh, they clearly are trying to rework everything. And what's interesting is this coming. This is coming on a complete, uh, almost restructure of Marvel TV, which was announced earlier uh, this uh, this year. I think back in October. Big Hollywood Reporter article about that, and they were actually going to be creatively rebooting the entire Daredevil: Born Again series. Uh, I don't want to read too much into it, but it does look like maybe Marvel Studios realizes uh, that they have indeed done significant brand damage to the company, uh, to Marvel Studios, to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and people are absolutely rejecting what they have done with all of the message pandering, the identity swaps, the sexual orientation swaps, the gender swaps. Uh, the race swaps, all of that stuff. And then on top of that, having lectures involved in the uh, films. And then obviously uh, the, subliminal the subliminal messaging uh, that, that is part of the woke ideology, uh, attempting to undermine masculinity, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, things like that. Uh, also, uh, excusing uh, villainous actions by uh, certain characters, such as like the Scarlet Witch, um, and having heroes do it. Just absolutely uh, promoting immorality and things like that, which heroes wouldn't do. Just obviously subverting um, true Western Christian values. So, uh, maybe they've realized that. Maybe they've realized uh, that they've gone too far, and this is part of a course correction with bringing in Michael Green, changing up there the way they do TV. Um, but I don't know. I think it's too little too late. But let me know what you think about all of this drama with the Blade uh, movie. And do you actually believe Michael Starbury when he's saying that uh, he's denying this? Because this is kind of the uh, Marvel MO 
where you have a character and then they get sidelined. We saw that with Loki. He was sidelined in favor of Sylvie. Uh, they do this all of the time. Um, so let me know what you think about uh, what Michael Starberry thought here and what this means for the MCU at large. Subscribe for more.